Still celebrating 10 years of award-winning talk. On the car show, it's In Wheel Time, your weekly go-to all things automotive place. Howdy along with Mike out of this world, Mars and King Conrad along. We need more Jeff Zekin, and you have even more Jeff Heitzman. Howdy. There you go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Got a mic us all, got yeah, a yeah. all up. Pushing the buttons and sliding the slides, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, there over we there. Go. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, it is. It push is. that button there, buddy. We'll, we'll get it done. <laughs> We're good. We're good. So we got um, in our car club segment, we've got the Houston Muscle Cars. We do. Car club. Yes. And, and Amanda Lee Hill Wilson. Wilson. If I get it. How, how am I, I doing? <laughs> Will Susan. Will Susan. Yes, that's yeah. what I said. I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> it's not what he said, but he yeah. knew he knew he said it Just wrong. Just like it's spelled. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, close enough. So anyway, so uh, she is one of the founders, or I guess technically you are the founder, right? Yes, I founded the club. Okay, well, tell us about it. Where'd you find it? <laughs> <laughs> On the side of the road. No, no, I had actually come from another club that I had been a member of for about eight to nine months. Uh I had not got my red eye yet. I was driving a 392, and and the club was fun, but it just wasn't what I wanted out of a club. And I, so I just figured, hey, why not I just branch off and make my own club? And so I did, and it's just really done really well. It's exploded. I, I grabbed in some more people to help me. I have four. Uh, we have three other administrators that help me run the club. This is Jackie. She's one of the administrators. I couldn't get the other two here. It was too early. So, <laughs> but it. <laughs> okay. I tried to get them here, but well. So, are you? Is your club? Um, uh, is a contact point for your club going to be a, a Facebook page, internet page, a website? How how can people find out more about your club? Well, the best place to find us is on Facebook. We do have an Instagram page at Houston Muscle Cars. Um, we just kind of post what we do and, uh, we do member spotlights and things like that on Instagram. But if you're interested in joining the club, you would just, um, look up Houston muscle cars on Facebook. Uh, and we also have a public page for those that aren't in the area or don't have a muscle car and they just want to support and follow. And that's on Facebook as well, uh, at Houston muscle cars, public group, HMC. Okay. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. Okay. <laughs> you get well, all so, so, so tell us more about the club then. Uh, well, we're a diverse club. That's one thing I wanted was the last club I was in was Mopar only. And I really, I love all cars, all builds, and I really wanted to expand our member base. And so Houston Muscle Cars is any and all cars. And we accept some things that ain't even muscle. True. <laughs> we have a Jeep, a couple trucks. Um, we have everything, yeah. Yeah, but mostly we are heavy Mopar, but um, we have uh, quite a few Camaros. We've got some Mustangs, and we got some really interesting rides as well. We've got a we got a Shelby Snake. We've got um, what are some of the other interesting cars we got? We got some we got some swaps too. The the one with the LS. Oh yeah, there. a couple LS swaps. Oh, um, everybody puts an LS in something. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. Why not? I put an LS in an LS. They need to put an uh, hello, know, a elephant in one of them, right? There you go. Yeah, no, nobody has a elephant, not yet. <laughs> so, um, as as a club, you said you were a member of a different club and wanted to do some different stuff and created your own. What kind of things did you bring to your club that you thought were missing from the previous club? Uh, well, the biggest thing is diversity. Um, I really wanted uh, diversity. Another thing was a more active member base. Um, we really wanted this to feel like a big family, you know, not just cars. We wanted to, to build a car enthusiast family, and I think we're doing a good job with that. I think so. We have a pretty good core group out of our members, so. Yeah, we have in total 160 members, and probably That's a good, good handful of those, maybe 30 or 40, really interact with the group and are pretty active. So when you, when you get together, um, what type of get-togethers are you guys doing right now? Oh, gosh, we do everything. Um, we go to the movies. We go to car meets. We, um, we've, we have a, we've had one meet so far. We're fixing to have and host another meet um, on Sunday at Cupid for uh, a girl that has cancer. And so both meets that we've had are going to go, all the proceeds do go to 
Um, the first one was for the homeless, and this one is going to be for this little girl to help her fight cancer. Oh, neat. Yeah. Neat. yeah, yeah so neat. we try to throw meats for the purpose. And, and Yeah, we try to throw meats for the purpose. But, yeah, we, we do everything from car meets to car shows to getting car. together and just hanging out for dinner. We went and played at Top Golf. We went and did a uh, go kart. <laughs> that was fun. We go to the track a lot. I like the track. So. What go what go kart track did you go to? Days. What co K one speed. Okay, yeah, I know. There's one up in uh, in Conroe. Yep. And uh, Alec Udell, uh, who's going to be on the show a thing. little bit later, uh, his parents. Yeah, they that. heard about that one. Yeah. Everybody loved it so much they want to do it again because we had a max. You could only bring 12 people, and we had more than 12 interested. They're like, do it again. Yeah, so I need absolutely. to do another another event where we get to go do the go-karts because that was a lot of fun. So do you guys do any track days? Oh, we do lots of track days. <laughs> now, when, when, That's, my, fa that's so, my, favorite, my favorite thing to do. I love going to the track. So, so which track do you go to? We try to go to Baytown usually. I like the quarter mile. Um, every now and again, we'll go to HMP up in Humble, but um, that's just the eighth mile track. So we, we try to hit Baytown mostly. And then I I go to Ennis sometimes. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, that, but that's quite a drive. Yeah, that's that's a pretty decent drive. Um, uh, I don't know if you watch, if you were watching the show before you got on. Uh, we had uh, Richard Tomlin with SCCA. I was going to mention that. Because there's, you know, there's a, you know, if you're ever interested in doing some road racing, or autocrossing, uh, SCCA is a great organization to get involved with. And uh, I know he said they tomorrow they're going to be out at uh, Houston Greyhound Park doing some autocrossing as well. So, uh, oh, uh, that another, would be fun. Another, yeah, another track opportunity. Yeah, I've been wanting to try autocross. I did it when uh, I went out to Bondurant Racing School uh, a couple months ago and got to do autocross for the first time, and I really liked it because – uh, this car handles better than you think. You wouldn't think it'd do so, too great on those little tracks, but it did. So, uh, what was the name of that place again? SCCA or what? S SCCA Sports Car oh, Club. SCCA. Of, yeah, Sports Car Club of America. And tomorrow morning, I think he said starting at seven o'clock, they're going to be at it. Houston Greyhound Park, which is the uh, Greyhound horse or uh, Greyhound dog track down in Lamarck. Right. Is it Lamarck? Yes. Yeah. So uh, down, oh, down okay. on Gulf Freeway South, uh, just after you get to right about the time you get to Texas City, and yeah. you can actually join the SECA. He said it's thirty-five dollars a year, single or thirty-five uh, ninety single. for a family. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. But, but as far as like your your challenger demon, or no, you got the red eye. So you got the, you got the Hellcat eye. red eye. Yes. Yeah, yes. It might be interesting to see how that thing does out there on that yeah. asphalt. Yeah. Parking lot. Oops, I think we lost her. Uh oh. Did we lose you? Are you still there? No, we lost her. No, nope, dropped off completely. Oh, boy. Yeah, she was bouncing kind of. She was going to show us her car out there, and so she was going to be out on the driveway. Well, she can come well, back. Well, we'll see right? if we can get you back in, yeah. Amanda, yep, and yep. Uh, and see what you have. But we know what the uh, Challenger Red Eye is. That's uh, it's a beast of a car. It's uh, yeah. And, and uh, Didn't you two, you and Don, didn't you all review one not very long yeah, ago? Yeah, not too yeah. long ago. I love them. Yeah. I love the Hellcats. And then you get the, the Red Eye, and it bumps you up your horsepower a little bit. And, and you, you get, get a, a special wide body, key. wide body on top. And you get the of wide it. body on top of that, and you have a special key for the different horsepowers. Is that yes, it yes. You get the standard horsepower. The black key is like five twenty-five, only, only five hundred horsepower. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you get the uh, the red, red key, key for the seven ninety-seven. Well, yeah, I think on the Hellcat, the regular Hellcat, it's seven seventeen or something. But I think we may have Mandy back. Are we'll you ask her. We'll ask her. Dude, this we time. thought you hung up on us. We said something wrong. <laughs> yeah. No, I got a, I got a text message and I accidentally put in and accept, or it was a call. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the text message? Hit the wrong button. <laughs> we need to know these things. Yeah, they were texting. Yeah, cars, not phones. They were texting you to tell you they saw you on the internet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not, not reeling you're on, not realizing you're on live, yeah, but not for good things either. Yeah. I know. Like, Listen, uh, so, so tell us about your car. Yeah, we got a couple of minutes. Let's do it. Can you show us the car? Uh, well, I love my car. It's my <laughs> other child. No, I'm joking. Um, let me turn it around. I there can you go. Show it to you. There, there she is you right go. There. there it is. Wow. This is my girl. Oh, and you took the yellow yes. things off of it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, of course. I see way too many people driving around. Either, either the, the pink ones on. or the yellow ones. Yeah. Oh, that drives me insane. I'm like, you're going to scratch up your splitter. Take it off. Is that is that Hood Factory? Oh, yeah. Is it? I've yeah. Never, I've never and seen it. Hood Factory. 
Very and nice. Got my wheels painted. And it's a wide body. There's her little, there's her little red eye. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had that painted, too. It was black. Now, but. did you say that this is your daily driver? This is my daily driver. I'm wow. in, uh, The back is filthy. It's been raining, but... Oh, the window slats on the back. That's unusual. Yeah. I haven't yeah. seen that before. Work. Friday, right. 35 miles one way. Cool. Well, I think oh. you're, you're, you're running out of your internet. may need to go back around towards the front. Oh, red eye. I love the tag. Yeah, I'm Nine getting further eye. away from the house. Okay, now what's the one next to it? Is that uh, is that hers? Or his? His. No, hers. His? No, nah, we we. I think we're. I think you're dropping us there again. Uh, yeah, Amanda. we probably need to go back up towards the house on the driveway. But anyhow, we all know what the red eye yeah. is, and and how well put Man, together. I'm supposed to be in red eye, and, and how well put together that car oh. is by uh, FCA and Stellantis. yeah, and, and that's really the reason that you can uh, make a daily driver out of it. So Amanda, the other car that's there on the driveway. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. So yours is there. What is that one? That's another Challenger, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> well, it's part of one. Well, there you go. Hey, well, well, that's a nice picture anyway. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And there's our uh, club logo, if you can see it. Nope. I no, think no, right no, here. Like you froze up. Yeah, yeah, we've kind of dropped kinda, you again. Yeah. Got a little too far from the house. There it is. Oh. Yeah. Let me walk back to the house. Yeah. So, you want to hear it? Uh, if, well, yeah, I, I, I don't know if we can it? if you got to get that far away from the house. <laughs> yeah. But, um, no, I'll have Jackie go crank it up. Okay. Okay, Ooh. yeah, yeah, crank yeah, it Jackie. Up and <laughs> Driver starts sure. your engines. <laughs> it's right. Why not? So, I went ahead and posted your Facebook Start page. your engines. Yeah. I posted your Facebook page on our Facebook page to give people a link if they're interested. Sure, my neighbors in, love me. In, in joining. Well, uh, neighbors love anybody that works on a car. They just don't want to hear them working on it at 6 o'clock in the morning or midnight. Is that electric? Because I don't hear it. Yeah. It, it's no, awfully, it's, it's awfully just quiet. No, the, the internet. We're cutting in and out oh. a little bit. So, yeah. Okay. So let's, let's move me, back up towards the house. Yeah, we can now. Yeah, we can hear you now. So let's kind of move back okay. to that. There you go. Did you hear the car? No. No, it, just, it wasn't picking it up because of the, the, the... You could have went broom, broom, and it would have been fine. I bet you the car... <laughs> the, I know what happened because the car picked up the Bluetooth. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, well, the yeah, car yeah. picked up the Bluetooth. Technology so, today yeah. is... So is uh, the other car yours, good. or is that Jackie's? That's Jackie's car. And what is it? Yeah, the other one to the right is Jackie's Challenger. Car. It's a, a okay. 2021 Scat Pack RT. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's a Scat Pack. Okay, okay, okay. And it's a bad ride. All right. So the Mopar girls, huh? But but the club isn't Mopar exclusive. Oh, yeah. I am Mopar through and through. I'll, you want to know just how Mopar I am? <laughs> Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, boy. No mistaking it now. Yep. That, that's permanent. That looks like it hurt. No. So what, no, what, it didn't hurt at all. What, what do you do by day besides the club? Uh, Monday through Friday, I'm a registered nurse. Very cool. Well, thank you very much. And Monday through Friday, I'm a math teacher. She's a uh, math teacher, <laughs> and oh. I'm a nurse. What school do you teach math at? <laughs> I teach at Dory Intermediate in Klein ISD. Okay. And what hospital do you work at, Amanda? I work down in Memorial Hermann in the Heights. I work at outpatient surgeries. Okay. A cool. little, little day surgery work. That's, uh, uh, I've been. Yeah, uh, that's what I do. Day surgery and then night surgery on the red on the, eye. On the, on the yeah. red eye, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, Amanda, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm always doing some of the red eye. So let me ask you. You mentioned that you've been at, you've been to Baytown on the track. What kind of times are you running in your uh, red eye? Wait a minute. Why, well, why are you... the best I've gotten so far is what? No, nah, you were kind of looking around there, at Jackie, and I was kind of wondering if uh, we were asking for secrets or because something. It's a, it's a running joke in the group. They all love to pick on me because my goal is to get into the nines, and my 
my, you know, my license plate even says nine point red eye and the best time I've gotten is 10.000. Oh, no. if you go under if 10 or under, you need a roll bar. Well, I think, I think 10.5 okay. 10, 10. Uh, or under. So you got a, you got a cage? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nope. Just a bigger helmet. We don't need no stinking gauge. And they so let you, no they let you yeah. run that at Baytown like that, huh? That's interesting. Well, they'll, they'll let her do yeah. it once. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. So your daily driver is a 10-second car. Yes, it is. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a high tune tune, tune so, on it. Okay. Have you done anything else to it? Not that she's going to tell Not us. Not performance-wise. That's all I've done is because uh, I don't want to get into swapping pulleys and doing all that kind of stuff. That's just the simply fun stuff. It's my, well, but ah! you take the drivability, the daily driver out of it when you start doing that. Right. So do, exactly. you, do you run street exactly. tires when you go it's, to the it's track? It's a fine balance. Yes. So are you putting oh, no. slicks I, I on got it at the track? Set, I got a whole different drag setup. I got, I got front race master skinnies, and then on the back I run, I have Demon OEM 18-inch wheels that I run Mickey Thompson ET Street uh, R's on at the track. <laughs> well, going uh, 10.000. There's a nine-second car in there somewhere. You just got to figure out where that other one-thousandth of a second is. Maybe you need to let and Jackie drive and it. And you'll get a glad <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. She's the math no, person. It's just, it's just too hot right now, and the DA's just been way too high. When I got that 10-second, it was like 45 degrees outside. And the DA was like negative 400. It was just perfect weather. So, And I haven't had my tune tweaked yet. Tim Barth is the one that did my tune. And uh, I've been collecting data, and i got to send off my data to him, and then he'll tweak my tune, and hopefully by then I'll be a nonsense. Maybe Jackie calculated it and rounded up. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that to her. Just I would have to... done my best to go out farther so we could get in the millionths and get that point one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 one. <laughs> Just uh, get a big old box it of is... uh, of dry ice and bring it with you and pack the charged air cooler Pack the dry ice around the charged air cooler. See if you can't charge. Think lower that's been the intake done. Charge. She's probably done that. <laughs> well, I have a super chiller, so I'm okay. Good. Okay, you're pretty close to it then. Yeah, it has a built-in super chiller, especially when I put it in my hot tank mode. It automatically kicks on, and it runs like that the whole time. Well, we appreciate you coming on and sharing uh, sharing your club and sharing information about your car and uh, introducing us to Jackie as well. Um, Next weekend, we're going to be out at Tailpipes and Tacos in Katy. Why don't you stop by and say hi? Yep. So, Lo okay. Loopy Tortillas we'll in Katy. And, okay, we'll take a look at and it. And we're there from 8 to uh, the show. The Tailpipes and Taco is 8 to 11. A lot of people kind of come from about 8 to 10, but uh, we'll be on yeah. the air it, 8 to It's 11. a cruise and People yeah. come and go all, just, all morning. Just come and go. They do breakfast tacos. They, uh, they, they have uh, Bloody Marys and mimosas. And all of the funds Ooh. raised are given to a Mopar woman yes. because it's all charity for Shirley's kids. Yep. So Shirley, oh, Muldowney, awesome. Shirley Muldowney has a, a children's charity that she – Support and Does she supported. really? Yep, and she supported oh, for her. years. Yeah. She's so, my idol. In the, fact, uh, two <laughs> two years ago, well, the summer before COVID hit, she actually came to one of the cruise ends one Saturday morning. Right, and uh, she was signing autographs. Oh and, yeah. Oh, oh, it was. I would love to it meet was her. great. Oh, well, we're going to try and have her back out, but that's that's going to Stan Holt will probably facilitate and, that. And Stan is a drag racer. Yeah, Stan's Stan's got a whole He's got a whole flood of oh loopy tortilla Chevy yeah. twos and Novas yep. that they yep. race together. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. I want to meet Shirley. <laughs> well, if she comes back, then we will definitely let you know. But come on out Saturday. Yes, please do. Bring the That's club. Bring Jackie. Bring your She's car. Idol. Well, that would be well, cool. Yeah. So so do that. Come out t uh, next Saturday. And in, it's uh, Houston Houston Muscle Car Club on Facebook. And I, like I said, I put the link on our Facebook page for you. Yeah, it's Houston Muscle Cars with an S at the end. Right. Houston Muscle Cars. Okay. okay. Yeah. Got so it, thank it. you very much for joining us. Thank you for thank having you. us. You guys have Appreciate fun. It. You all have a good day. Well, you're on the In Wheel Time Car Show. Thanks for riding with us today. We'd like to hear from you. Just shoot us an email at info at inwheeltime.com. Time now for... Some headlines from the other Jeff. Da -da -da. The, the need more Jeff. We need more Jeff. Go for it. Here we go. Um, this was given to me, and this is in relation to tires and EVs, since I'm the, the tire expert on this panel. Uh, in the EV era, almost no part of the automobile will go unchanged, including the tires. 
With more than 100 electric models scheduled for launch in the next few years, tire companies are under pressure, got it, under pressure, as they wrestle with conflicting demands for a new generation of tires. I have to turn my page. Here you go. Uh, most of today's tires are not optimized for EVs. The weight of the battery pack often exceeds the conventional powertrain, and the full torque arrives at the wheels instantly and is often far higher than the internal combustion engine vehicles. Uh, but on the EV, the sounds of the tires on the treads and the pavement get telegraphed straight into the interior. Early efforts to combat this are somewhat crude. Tesla's Goodyear tires, for example, have an inch of foam. Inside of them? Yeah, well, glued to the inside of the tire uh, is to help dampen and, and tap down those unwanted uh, sounds. It's effective, but tire engineers are looking beyond that low-tech solution. France's Michelin, on April 1st, launches Pilot Sport EV, which is very cool because Michelin already has the Pilot, Pilot Sport. A line of tires designed specifically for high-performance EVs, such as Tesla's Model S, Plaid, Plaid, uh, they use technology gleamed from the company's experience-equipped Formula E electric race cars. Now, Formula E is a is, is it's on kind TV. of a Formula yeah. One car with exactly. electric cars. Exactly, exactly. But there motor. is a class and a series on TV. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. Uh, Pilot Sport EVs have been hardened sections in the center of the tread to enhance grip. The tire also has low rolling resistance and ex and extends the driving range. According to Michelin, they want to you know tell all that good stuff. Uh, since 18, 1888, when Scottish veterinarian John Boyd Dunlop developed in a concept of pneumatic tire, the main ingredient in nearly all the tires has been rubber. That might not be the case in the future. One technology to match Michelin's Tweel, now Tweel's T-W-E-E-L, an airless radial tire, in a airless radial tire combination. It's now in production for light tractors, lawn equipment, off-road recreational vehicles. It's a polyresin spokes that are mated to a Michelin uh, shear beam assembly. Don't know what that is, but it's actually the axle. Uh, basically, uh, a mechanical spring. One-piece twill bolts onto an axle. Other companies are looking for plastics to replace rubber. Airless tires will have a long way to go. I was going to say, the, uh, I think one of the big issues about tires on EVs is there's no motor noise. No. There's no other noise to, uh, uh, to interfere with it. So that's why you actually hear the tire working more on the ground than you would in anything else. Right, right. Um, I, I'm kind of a fan of the EVs. You know, they sell the little speaker system that plugs into the ALDL, and you can you can tune it to a little four-cylinder V12 or V8, and it, it gives the sound of whatever you want. That way, you don't have to listen to the My tires. My son had that on a on a uh, vehicle that he leased. <laughs> it was actually a hybrid. It was okay. a Lexus hybrid, and he had that the sound function system in it. Put yep. On it. Yep. Yep. Well, good. Well, thanks, Jeff. We appreciate okay, it. Okay, not a problem. Uh, is it time for a break or no? Not yet. No, there's well, more there's, news. There's, there's, there's some other news out <laughs> well, there. Well, let's get to it. Honda is going to share an EV platform with General Motors. You know, GM is developing that the Ultima batteries and that what I call the skateboard platform. Yeah. Uh, Honda's EV is going to be called the Prologue, and they've chosen a forward-looking name for the battery electric crossover that they are developing with General Motors. Uh, the uh, battery electric Acura crossover for 2024 uh, is going to be their first release of that. So, uh, again, that, that GM Ultium skateboard platform, you're going to see really spread across both Honda and General Motors. Remember, GM said that they were going to try and get to be uh, pure electric uh, by 25, I think, is what they were saying. Yeah. Is it 25? And speaking of electric, uh, Tesla delivered 200,000 one hundred and uh, two hundred one th two hundred one thousand two hundred fifty cars in the second quarter of this year. Uh, Tesla's uh, had a record sales of elect as an electric car maker. Uh, while the company's been doesn't break out sales by region, the business appeared to be very healthy in China, and the bulk of the periods China. Chi China. China. China and the bulk of the period sales were the Model Three which is their smaller car, and the Model Y, which is their crossover, which are both produced in uh, Shanghai and in Fremont, California. The Model S sedan and Model X sport utility vehicles are made only in Fremont, and the, they are the, the United States' uh, biggest Tesla market. 
Hmm. So uh, Tesla's really uh, ringing the bell out there with um, with production as well as with sales, kind of trying to prove that there's a the place for an EV. Uh, uh, an they're, EV they're vehicle. I know it. Don. Don's not driving an EV to no. go to uh, to uh, <laughs> uh, wherever he's going. No range anxiety oh, for him yeah. today. No range anxiety. Uh, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has unveiled a searchable database for auto recall safety information. Uh, uh, NHTSA has launched a cloud-based dashboard for shifting, uh, for sifting and sorting through more than 50 years worth of auto safety recall data. The agency's searchable database allows users to sort, filter, and visualize data such as total number of recalls by manufacturer and total number of potentially affected vehicles. It also allows the users to search by keyword and to export data through an Excel spreadsheet. Cool. Uh, uh, The dashboard will be updated daily because Manufacturers are releasing recalls that fast. Uh, users can access the recall data as far back as January 19th of 1966, uh, and that was four years before NHTSA was established. It's funny, I just got in the mail a recall for the Takata airbag on my 2012 Chevy Tahoe. So uh, huh. I, 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 I knew it had a Takata in it, but I didn't realize they had recalled it. So, again, uh, check your car often. Uh, um, uh, uh, I thought all the Takatas got recalled. And they they recalled the recall. And they've recalled the recall multiple times. Safercars.gov. Know your VIN, and you can plug your VIN in, and that will give you the information that you need. Your VIN is either on the vehicle or on your uh, insurance registration. It's the easiest place is on your insurance. Uh, Also, NHTSA, the uh, nation's top highway safety agency, issued an order Tuesday requiring automakers and other operators of vehicles equipped with advanced driver assistance systems and fully automated driving systems to begin reporting crash data to NHTSA. You know, there's you always see it in the news somewhere, so they're going to collect a database and share that data with the industry. Uh, and with that, I, th- I think we are uh, headed to a break here. Uh, it, it, what was that number that uh, Tesla made? How many? 201,250. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it's gotta, we're going yep. to come yeah, up we're, on a quick break yeah, we're gonna and, take a and quick be break. Right, bra- yep. right back, and we'll start our two. Houstonian-owned Bayway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has the most sought-after models in the Houston area today. When you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, you now have a place to go. General Manager Lincoln Stahl guarantees Bayway will beat any competitor's written price on the new vehicle you choose or pay you $1,000. Bayway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is easy to get to on Highway 225 near Beltway 8 in Pasadena. Whether it's online or in person, you're welcome like one of the family. BaywayChryslerDodgeJeepRam.com Tailpipes and Tacos, Houston's premier monthly car cruise-in returns Saturday, July 17th at two Loopy Tortilla Mexican restaurants in Katy and inside the loop on the Southwest Freeway near Kirby. Tailpipes and Tacos is free and everyone's invited. You'll see collector cars, hot rods, customs, magnificent originals and resto mods at two locations. Cars from all over Southeast Texas cruise in and show off in a friends and family event at the Loopy Tortilla Mexican Restaurant on the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard just south of I-10 and Katy and inside the loop on the Southwest Freeway near Kirby. Drag racer, car enthusiast, and Loopy founder Stan Holt brings you Houston's hottest cruise in. Tailpipes and tacos inside the loop on the Southwest Freeway in Kirby and in Katy on the Grand Parkway just south of I-10 where you'll see the in real time car show. Get your ride ready, and we'll see you at the Tailpipes and Tacos Saturday morning cruise-in, July 17th, 8 to 11 a.m., weather permitting. You see all the new ceramic car wash cleaners on TV now, but John Gray at Gulf Coast Auto Shield has been using ceramic coatings on Houston's most expensive cars for years, and he'll tell you that nothing beats the real thing. Gulf Coast Auto Shield installs a coating over your paint that actually comes with a warranty. If you just picked up your Lambo, your Aston Martin, Porsche, Ferrari, any other exotic car, chances are your car will have company that have already found Gulf Coast Auto Shield. Now, you don't have to own an exotic. Maybe you got a truck, an SUV, or even an older vehicle that needs a little love. Well, let John Gray give it a look and give you an estimate on refurbishing that paint and making your vehicle look new again. 
How about getting a gift certificate for the wife's birthday or anniversary from Gulf Coast Auto Shield and tell her, honey, I know you love your car, so why don't we get it looking new again? It'll be the best gift ever, one that she'll never forget. Get hold of John Gray at GCAutoShield.com or give him a call, 832-264-0670. Gulf Coast Auto Shield. 